Hey guys, it's Shay again here with All In Series. We have two special guests who's going to discuss with us the renovations that's going on and answer some of your questions. So hi guys, how are you? Hi. Doing well. Good. Would you like to introduce yourselves and tell us what you do here in Alden? I'm Robin Kervesti. I'm the facilities manager. I do project coordination and maintain the building. Okay. I'm Ryan Spellman. Um, I'm a library support specialist. So I do a lot of work on the service desks and I help to schedule staff on desk. And I also back up Robin on facility stuff. Awesome. So could you guys tell us a little bit about what's going on on the, the second floor with the renovations? Um, this renovation should have happened about two years ago, <laughs> and it is bringing the Academic Advancement Center from the first floor of Alden up to the second floor of Alden because it is a service, a student service, and second floor is a hub for most student service activities. And when um, tutoring and so forth isn't in session, um, the labs will be open for students to go in and use for study spaces as well. Awesome, awesome. So what other type of renovations are going on right now, or is it just second floor? Um, part of the second floor renovation, which will be um, gutting an area that has been um, empty for a couple of years now, will also include um, adding tutoring areas out here um, on the north side. We will be adding restrooms, um, a family restroom, and a men's and women's restroom, opening up the backside of the elevators, so there's a um, walkway. And then on fourth floor, we'll be adding restrooms as well during the summer. Awesome. And we're also updating the fifth floor with new furniture and carpeting. And um, as we've reduced our stacks of government documents because it's available electronically, we have a lot more floor space up there, so there'll be more study space for students. Awesome, cool. And then I have a question that might be for you. So I heard that next year the fourth floor is supposed to be open 24 hours. Yeah. Is that? People are pretty excited about that. Yeah, I really wish that I would have been here for that. <laughs> it gets so crowded on like second floor when everybody's down there mm -hmm. at once. Um, so tell us a bit about how the heating and the cooling works here. Because when we like kind of filter through the social media, we see somebody tweet like, it's so hot in here. Or, this and this and that. So like, how does that work? When you cut it on, when you cut it off? Yeah. This is even one of those days. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's really it, warm. it doesn't always work perfectly. We have nine air handling units in the building. Um, each are devoted to different areas of the building, of course, with seven floors of Alden Library. Um, we've updated four of the nine air handling units. Two of them are still original to the building. So as capital funding and priorities in the university and so forth come come up for us, hopefully we'll get two more, um, which will help the building. And as we've restructured over the years, sometimes the air handling has not been able to keep up with the, the, the walls being built and the way we're changing the use of the space. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's a timeline um, determined by the university when our heating and cooling okay. come on and shut off. Okay. It is currently on, but, and we also have other um, parts of the mechanical system that doesn't always work up to par, like our chiller sometimes isn't working properly. Okay. Do you guys plan on like um, renovating each each floor or is it just whenever the problem is brought to you guys, you just go off of that? <laughs> we have a long-term plan, okay. however, it usually de depends on funding. Okay, makes when sense. We, when we can get to do those activities. All right. So with all these, you know, renovations and things like that, that's with all the things going on in the library. So what are you guys doing to make sure that students have both the individual quiet space and then like space that they can work with their groups and teams and things like that? Well, while the renovations are happening, it's going to be a bit of a challenge. One of the things that we are doing is we're going to be opening the Rollins room as a quiet study space okay. um, starting at midnight so that students are coming in late because it gets really noisy in here, mm. especially on the second floor since it's the only 24-5 space at the moment during finals. Um, although, I mean, the, the other floors are open until 2 a.m., which is mm -hmm. nice, but you'd be surprised. There are students here pretty much all night trying to get things done. So um, we're doing that to offer more quiet study space. Um, is that going to be starting this year? Um, well, just for uh, the 20, starting on the 21st, okay. we're going to be doing that clear up through the end of finals. Okay. We're going to put up a sign and try to keep it as quiet as we can back there because with the renovations where they put up the containment wall, we lost that quiet study area on mm -hmm. the second floor. So, and this is about the same size, mm -hmm. but it'll be a nice substitute, I think, for students. Okay. And, and for other group study areas, um, we, we've bought a lot more whiteboards and so forth for flexibility and space and for people to be able to, to make their own little corner or group, group area. 
Also for collaboration. Open. Yeah. And we also open this lab up in the evenings. Yeah, like students. being here is really nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So, you know, um, working, you know, really closely with, like, the students in the, the building, do you guys have any, like, surprises or anything, like, random that you learned about the building or seeing any ghosts or anything like that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Not really. Any fun no. facts, cool stories? I've heard people found? say that the freight elevator is haunted. Um, <laughs> somebody got, uh, when the building was originally built in the 1960s, the, it, the security and safety of construction areas isn't what it is today, and like student, a student wandered in and actually fell down the shaft. Mm. And I found out about that. There's information about that at, in our archives. <laughs> wow. So that's interesting. Um, that's I, I find it very interesting to know that they are handling units and so forth that take care of this huge building. Several of them are original to the building. So mm. they were put in like 1969. And that kind of like segues into our next question. I was going to ask, like, what are um, one or two things that you wish people knew about the building? So that kind of goes into that as well. Unless you had something that else. That unfortunately we don't have a lot of control mm -hmm. area-wise of what we can do about the heating and cooling. And even when they do make adjustments or fix something, it's such a large building. It, it mm -hmm. doesn't happen instantaneously like at your house. When you turn on the furnace, you can feel mm -hmm. the heat. And, it takes some time mm -hmm. and, and we try and facilities tries their best to get to us in an orderly fashion but we're one of a gazillion buildings mm -hmm. 200 and some buildings on campus <laughs> so we're not always the priority I can understand and you did mention that is a Alton is a very large building so if you had to pick what would be your your favorite spot take your lunch break your hideaway <laughs> <laughs> my favorite spot Probably to take a lunch break would be up on the sixth and seventh floors. Okay. You can get out in the wing where you have that nice view of campus, mm -hmm. the big windows. It's a really nice spot. Um, looking at it from a student perspective, if I was just a student and not working here, mm -hmm. I'd have to say the third floor would probably be my favorite spot, especially now that they have the Macintosh computers in there with the Creative oh, Cloud yeah. on them. Um, it's just a really nice, comfy space. There's a lot of airflow, um, a lot of different areas you can go. And I, I like the little exhibits they put up down there, too. Mm -hmm. And I like, I like being here at night and looking out into the Wolf Gardens with What's the that? lights on. Um, out the fourth floor entry. Oh, okay. I didn't oh, know yeah. that's what it was called. Hmm. Yeah, all the glass. And like him, I like being on the upper floors where you can mm -hmm. see all over campus. Yeah. I also get access to places other people can't go to see out, which is, which is nice sometimes to just get away for a minute. That's cool. I'm trying to think, what is my favorite place? I do like the new fourth floor renovations, like those circle chairs. I feel like I'm just like... Up and oh, the, the white ones? Yeah. Yeah, those That's are very popular. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, like, the little, um, I don't even know how to describe the theme, like, vintage-ish, like, the kind of the couches, like, the long black couches. I like just the oh. whole the whole setup up there. It's cool to me. Mm -hmm. But, awesome. Well, thank you for letting me interview you. And if you guys have any questions in regards to, you know, the renovations and the thing that's coming up next year, just drop by and ask us and let us know. So, thank you.